So hello everybody, this is Luboš Pirkel from CFD Support and welcome to the webinar on TCFD, the unlimited and focused uh, CFD code. I hope everything works well and in case of any technical problems, feel free to uh, contact us and we'll gladly answer all your questions and comments in the future. Uh, this webinar will be recorded and uh, its recording will be made available online on our YouTube channel. And I guess everything seems to be working very well. So I think it's time to get to the action. So, okay. So please let me start with in the introduction of this webinar speakers. So this is me. Hi. Yeah, my name is Luboš Pirkel. I'm co-founder of CFD Support and my current job is telling the world uh, about CFD Support. And today I'm sitting here in our Prague office with my colleague and also a friend, Radek Máca. Uh, hello, Radek. Hello, Luboš, and hello to everybody who is watching us. So, Radek, are you ready for the webinar? Yes, of course I am. Okay, so I think we can go ahead. I only note that Radek is our head engineer and senior developer here at CFD Support, and he will take care uh, of the technical part of today's presentation. Uh, I think we can switch off the cameras and we will come back uh, at the end of the webinar. Bye for now. And uh, yeah, I think we can move. Yeah, here's Radek. Yeah, I'm sorry. Here's Radek in the presentation. And I think we can move. Here's the agenda of today's webinar. Uh, the webinar is going to take about one hour, depending on number of your questions. Uh, there will be three parts in this webinar. In the first part, I will give a general introduction to, to, to TCFD and I'm going to point out the main TCFD features and benefits. In the second part, uh, there will be uh, a live example where Radek is going to show you a few examples of TCFD. And finally, in the last part, there will be a Q&A session dedicated to your questions and our answers. So feel free to ask your questions. Some questions will be answered right directly in the webinar. The rest will be answered uh, via email uh, later after after the, the webinar is is finished. So so I'll just just note here that, that we are used to deliver complete engineering projects. Uh, we do various projects on demand uh, all across the CFD field. Uh, then we deliver an extensive open form training and consultancy. And we also do quite a lot of uh, open form support and custom code de development projects. Uh, and of course, our flagship product is TCFD, which this webinar is about. And this brings me to TCFD. So please, please let me give a brief description of what is TCFD. So TCFD is a unique CFD software. Uh, it's very progressive because it's because it successfully merged benefits of an open source, which is being perpetual, unlimited for uh, users, jobs, of course, and also very customizable, with benefits of commercial codes, uh, which those are professional technical support, well tested, and uh, it's ready for the industry. It's robust, accurate, automated, and it has a graphical interface. And What's important that TCFD is designed to be a complete workflow that covers all the all the engineering steps from the pre-processing over the simulation run to the very detailed post-processing of the results. It's independent on other software. And on the other hand, it's fully compatible with other software. Uh, the, the TCFD user simply puts the data in TCFD does its job and write the results report, and then the user can just pick the results data and 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 use it. So 
the CFD can be used as a black box and also as a fully sophisticated CFD code at the same time. So all the options uh, remain open. The, the beauty of the CFD is that it's the user who decides how deep to dive into CFD or not at all. Uh, Please let me stress out uh, just a quick review of TCFD unique value. We believe TCFD is unique, at least for four reasons. So number one would be TCFD is unlimited, which means our clients can keep TCFD forever and they can use it for unlimited number of users, jobs or course. That gives the investment into TCFD a permanent value. And also this means our clients can scale their CFD simulations in, uh, in a really big way. Uh, number two would be the CFD is fully automated and focused on uh, particular CFD jobs. So for this reason, the CFD uh, is extremely effective or the work with the CFD is extremely effective. Uh, number three would be we deliver extraordinary technical support. We keep custom approach to every customer, to every issue. Uh, we never leave behind any of our clients. We we are very flexible in it and we support our clients even in matters out of the CFD field, for example, in numerical mathematics, physics, IT, or even software engineering. Uh, number four would be the real Preset tutorials are included in TCFD, so the new TCFD user has no doubts about uh, how to start with TCFD and, for example, about the best practice settings. So the the, the start is really, really smooth. Um, there are many other benefits of using TCFD. I'm not going to go for all of them. Uh, I will. I will I will mention a few technical details which are, which I believe they're important. So I will go quickly through this list. So TCFD is available both for Linux and Windows operation system. The workflow is exactly the same in both systems. Uh, TCFD workflow is fully served from a graphical interface, a GUI. The graphical interface of TCFD is implemented in Paraview, and uh, the user can do everything. Uh, in the graphical interface, the case setup simulation and also the post processing in one place in the graphical interface. Uh, TCFD can be run in a batch mode uh, on background. So TCFD can be, uh, of course, uh, run by another software. TCFD can be also run on clusters and clouds to scale TCFD simulations to the fullest. TCFD can be further scripted in Python. Uh, it has a robust automated meshing system. Uh, and also it, the external meshes can be loaded to the CFD. The CFD is transparent. The trial version is available for free for one month period. So anybody can give it a try and afterwards he or she can decide to go for it or not. So it's really transparent for this reason. Yeah. the. Tutorials are available. Uh, TCFD has many post-processing features. A very single simulation has uh, its detailed report in web responsive HTML format. TCFD includes, includes visual post-processing called TurboBlade Post, which is a special set of software plugins for Paraview to, to post-process the, the rotating machinery, for example. And uh, lots of documentation is available online. And finally, TCFD development is users driven. That means that we listen to TCFD users very carefully. And if they, if they miss any feature, we add it to our to-do list and, uh, in, and uh, release it within the next software version. So our, our development is, or TCFD development is users driven. That's, that's pretty important. Um, okay, so we have a few quick examples of TCFD performance. Uh, this one is a detailed study we made on TCFD parallel scaling because we, to ensure you, our users can make good use of unlimited processors, users, users and, and jobs. The, the scalability is, is very important. Uh, 
it's one of the most important features of any CFD code because in, in other words, in modern CFD, it's critical for any CFD code to, to show linear scale speed up with increasing uh, of number of simulation cores. So we made a detailed study on the CFD parallel scaling. The tested case was France's hydro turbine. The scaling results are amazing, as you can see. Uh, here are the key fig figures, and this study cl clearly, pro cl clearly proves that the CFD uh, has very high parallel scaling efficiency. And also, uh, yeah, this, these are just the key, key pictures, and the full PDF study uh, with all the details is available. So it's available on request, so you can send us an email, and we, and we will send, send you the full PDF study. Okay, so this this example is on accuracy because uh, the CFD is pretty new uh, CFD software. So we are used to prove uh, to the, the CFD is very accurate. So this particular example is the benchmark of simulation of the real existing fan for uh, for which the measurement data are available. Um, a special centrifugal fan simulation benchmark we did together with our partners at VVZ Machinery. And this particular radial fan is quite difficult to simulate. It has very complicated airflow, including a low pressure ratio together with a high flow rate. Uh, this combination is very challenging for any CFD. And uh, yeah, here you can see the, the key Key results, and if you would be interested in, in more details, you can you can contact us. We, we we had a pretty good agreement with TCFD results and and the measurement. For a comparison, we also added a, a, a standard open form simulation. Um, okay, I'll go go ahead. This is a similar project we did together with Chess at Strakonice. It's, it was aimed on this time on compressible fluid flow in a centrifugal compressor. Yeah, in a similar case, the results were pretty impressive. Uh, recently, we made also uh, another simulation. It was a simulation of Spitfire aircraft. And again, uh, we have we achieved pretty good results. We, we also found, found uh, some measurements which were made during the World War II. And we made a comparison with, with the simulation data, and also the, the results were pretty good. The full PDF paper paper is again available, so you can you can get pretty easily the the detailed study. Yeah, and also uh, TCFD is very very suitable for optimization loops. Uh, in this particular project which we did together with friendship system a german german company which who, who develop or and produce a, the cases software which is which is a parametric cat system which which can run simulations like tcfd and in this particular case uh, axial fan optimization case study was was performed and uh, there were simulated hundreds of simulations of axial fan and and then we have we have found the the, the optimized one and again uh, the full pdf detailed study is available so this is just a just a just a just a tip for you the details uh, will follow if you if you are interested okay i think this is this is it for from me for now and I think it's time for the live demonstration of TCFD. Uh, so Radek, are you ready for your part? Yeah, hello again. Yes, I am. I will, I will take the presentation. So, okay, I hope you can see my screen. So yeah, I will start. So today, I will briefly show you some of the new features in TCFD release 18.06, and I will show you some some let's say basic operation and basic processing and what can be done in general with TCFD. 
and then some if you have some particular question we can maybe answer them uh, at the at the final part of this webinar or later on uh, after this webinar okay so so let's start what is what is new in TCVD 18.06 so and I use this uh, icon on the desktop so the graphic user interface appears as usual but what is what is new in this version is the rendering support so I, I, I will show you what, what I mean so in the previous releases there sometimes there were problems with with the, the rendering uh, of objects in in uh, in paraview which was caused by some um, incompatible uh, OpenGL drivers or usually when you use some remote control so that using if you use remote control so usually they are not available the hardware rendering OpenGL drivers so therefore we implemented directly within the installation both options how to render uh, the render view and the objects and so I will briefly show you where the setups can be changed if if the problems with the graphic occurs so at the installation at the installation directory which is usually a C drive in the TCFD directory there is a version so the actual version and inside the ETC directory there is a, in the Paraview uh, there is a Paraview launcher I think yes there is a Paraview launcher dot .ini file in which you can specify the OpenGL treatment let's say so if if you have the drivers then you can use the system and if not for example for the remote control you can simply change it to the software and run save it and run the graphic user interface again so this is simple treatment of of the OpenGL drivers so as I as I said usually it it has to be enabled for the remote control so this is this and maybe when I am here I can mention that you in the CFD you can set your default values for example maybe it is for more advanced users but I, I would like to mention here so what, what does it mean so basically if you run the, the empty CFD or empty TCFD uh, without any any preset any preset case so what appears here are the default values so for example the default value as it is is the machine type fun but for example if you would like to use always uh, for example let's say the propeller for example and then you go and run the TCFD again so then you get the preset values with your default values always when you when you open TCFD yeah, which can be really useful if you found some optimal optimal parameters so then you then you can set it right here and as you can see from now on I will be I will have here always the propeller machine type so this is this is these two features so the software rendering and the default values which can be changed and I can go on what is new so for example I have here a default tutorial Excel fun simple and what I would like to show you that we have implemented a new launcher let's say so if you for example have already many versions of turbo machinery so then you can always see so you can keep keep all of them and uh, when you open some TCFD configuration file you can choose which which version you would like to use so this is also the new feature so you are always you always know what version do you use so of course I would like to use the newest version of TCFD okay so now as you can see the preset case is automatically loaded the standard layout of the graphical user interface is 
the pipeline browser in which you can see each items which can which builds builds your setup let's say and the whole whole workflow then of course the settings of the dcfd so several menus in which you can set up the cfd simulation and of course the render view in which at the beginning you can see the topology of of your of your geometry or directly the C the input geometry or input mesh and and in this window we can also do the post processing visualization and other stuff what is new now what is new in this version that we implemented or a little bit modify the the advanced button so if you click on the advanced button then the advanced options for more advanced users let's say appears and it is visualized or highlighted by different color of the menus to be sure that you are using advanced menu advanced menu or the basic menu and for example what can what, what is what is new here for inside of simulation where you set the time management for for example and the processors number so if i enable it now you can see that there is a new line which is a solver steady state because i'm using steady state so for really advanced users and for the open form users which which implement some some modification to to follow their particular needs they can involve their own solver directly here and use the graphical user interface with their own solver yeah so this is another new feature and yeah so maybe i will i will, I will go through the, the items through menu, menus when i will presenting uh, different different case okay so my setup is is done let's say for for this for this example so then the approach is maybe i was too fast click on the settings and then enable this tcfd manager in which i can manage the simulation itself so i will write with the default name which is the name tcfd case with the label zero starting from the zero and then i can run the simulation the whole simulation by one click so first the meshing is done in this case i'm using the external mesh so the mesh is done really quickly and what is new here is that we have implemented a live residual uh, or instant residual plot to really see and to follow the residuals during during the simulation so this is new feature as well okay and what i can mention here as lubos already mentioned that we have performed some optimization study which was based on these on this geometry so as he as he already said the the report for this optimization is available so you can download it from our web pages and really follow or ask for the details about about uh, about the simulation about the connection and so on and so on so you can you can go through through it by yourself and ask what you are interested in what is nice feature what can i what can i mention here is that in in tcfd you can compare the reports as you know or at the end of the each simulation the automatic report is generated so i i can open some uh, some case which uh, which is already simulated for example in each case there is a report so i will just show you quickly so at the end of each simulation you will see the report like this with all important parameters inside efficiencies torques and all other important parameters and what i would like to to show you that there is a feature new feature using which you can compare as many reports as you want which for example for the optimization is very useful because you you need to compare several 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 geometry uh, modification and so on so i will open the cfd again for now i am not 
set up in the case so I can delete it. Here in the source menu, there is a TCFD compare button. So when I enable it, I can input as many reports as I want and save it at the place I want. So I will save it here for the, at the, at the place where the Excel fun simple is simulated. And I create, let's say, new folder, compare. And inside, I will save the new report. And now I will put inside some simulation. So I have prepared some of them here, Excel fun. So first one is the simulation original shape from the optimization study. So it is maybe, okay, I am, oh, okay, I go here, here, original geometry. I go for the case, here is the report. And the input is basically the, the main HTML file. And I will do the same for the other, uh, other geometries. For example, here is the best geometry from one type of the optimization tool or optimization algorithm. So I will put the next and the last will be the final optimized geometry, which we get from that study. Okay, and now I can click on apply and the report is now generating and creating the report with all, all the information from all, all the reports I, I input into the into this into this box so as you can see you can now see side by side all your geometries or your simulation and for example what is nice to see is a comparison for example of the efficiencies so the the purple one is the original one the green one is the let's say middle step of the optimization and the blue one is the final optimized geometry so I think this is really, very really cool and nice feature because you can nicely compare all the important parameters and also it creates the graphs in which you can see all, all the results you need to compare. So, so this is the compare report feature. Okay, what, what can I mention next? For example, the, the batch mode. For example, the, the, every CFD simulation can be run directly from console, from command line. So I will go here, for example, for the Excel fun simple, let's say, case. Now I will open Windows command line. And now I, I haven't, I haven't path to the, to the binary, to the CFD processor, it is called the command. So I will go to the TCFD installation and there is a binary file and there is an executable CFD processor. So if I type help, it will tell me what to do. So because I know what to do, so I will not read it. Okay, I hope it will be seen. So as a when I would like to run the whole simulation by one command, I can I can put inside the, uh, the setup, the CFD setup file as the input. And then I will just say, I would like to run, run it all. And okay, additionally, I can or cannot define my own directory. So run from command line, for example, Never mind. And now click and the simulation is running without the graphic user, user interface. And basically using this, you can run as many, you can script it, for example, many, many, many um, to simulate many many variant variants of your geometries at once during the night and so on with unlimited number of processes processors you have and so on so by control control c i can kill it here here are some commands what you can done during the simulation so i would like to end the simulation so i will type just kill and the simulation is done so this is the way how to run it from the from the command line. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is my case. I run at the beginning of this webinar or, or of my part, and you can see that now everything is computed, the report is generated, and all you need you have at 
at one place here in graphic user interface and directly you can you can for example jump to new render view and visualize the results so here's the button show results click on apply and now you see the computational domain with pressure distribution or total pressure distribution for example and so on and you can use as many filters and modify or visualization tools which part of you provides such as slides slices thresholds and many other streamlines glyphs or uh, arrows which shows you the velocity field and so on and so on okay what, what is also new is that we we are entering the external aerodynamics so there are preset uh, preset machines and types for external aero, uh, aero, aero simulations. So, for example, I can start with the with the sh let's say the ship hull example. So, this is the simulation of the ship hull together with with the propeller. Yeah. So, there are several components. One with the ship hull, second one with the rudder part, and the third one the rotating part. And what I would like to show you here is that what is also a new feature that now from this version you can input the binary, binary STLs, binary MSH, MSH format of, of the mesh, of the fluent mesh, or, or the fluent format for the meshes, and so on. And you can combine. For example, here. So if I open open the layout here, so for example, this part was generated directly in tcfd using using stls files as the input and the second part and the third part is the external mesh so for example this is some tetra tetrahedra mesh and this is the some block structured hexahedra mesh so there are no limitation you can combine any types of meshes and of course you can combine which which part of the mesh will be generated in tcfd and which one you will set as the input and of course the component graphs which shows you how each part is connected yeah so the fluid part uh, um, around the ship hull is connected to this part and this part is connected to the propeller itself so all all the topology and all the information you you have nicely nicely here so this was the example, let's say, for for the several in meshes or a combination of the meshes, one one ex or two external components and one one internal. The input is very easy. The, you just decide or set the geometry source if the inputs are STLs or the fluent mesh, and if it is fluent mesh, and it's prepared, of course, for the computation, such as that there there are meaningful patches, physical patches of the domain. And if there are more regions, then it automatically loads also several regions from 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 the from the fluent mesh. Yeah, so everything is easy now to import and simulate. And of course, for the propeller, there are special report concerning important parameters for the for the particular machine here for, for propeller such as performance curve using advanced ratio trust coefficient and torque coefficient everything is documented so as a part tcfd you will get the documentation so for example i have it yeah this tcfd manual and you will find everywhere or you, or you will find what you need for example i would like to see this what how the efficiency or this performance parameters are are um, evaluated so if i go for the formulas and here is some propeller efficiency and now we can nicely see what is the how the propeller efficiency is defined and what are the torque thrust coefficients advance ratio and other yeah so everything is tailored to each type of of the machine so ship hull propeller and now i would like to mention two new tutorials first one both tutorials are touching the external arrow so first one is wind turbine so simple 
wind turbine geometry again with the tailored efficiency again i can go for here and go how the wind turbine efficiency look, looks like how it is evaluated so everything is clear and okay this is the last case yeah this is the wind turbine so so now the whole mesh co uh, consists of two parts first one is the, let's say the virtual tunnel or or the part of the of the fluid domain or the big big part of the fluid domain in which i simulate the flow and of course the rotating part so again i, I will make some another visualization so this is the mesh from snappy then there is of course the rotating part so this is the rotating part on which the real rotation is applied and of course you can play around to visualize what you want for example some simple visualization of slices through through one blade and vis visualization of the streamlines on it to see for example for example in this case you can see that the wind is too low i think because yeah because the the pressure pressure or this is no, no this is not the pressure this is the velocity the velocity it's not at really the leading edge point so it means that it rotates too fast or the wind goes wind goes too low so for example this shows you what 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 you need to change and how to simulate really properly okay so example of the wind turbine and last but not least is the simulation of the spitfire for which we have the case study which you can download as well so here again the type of virtual tunnel with the rotating propeller again there are special force coefficients so for example here in the post processing you can set all the all the automatic post processing stuff such as efficiency probes which is for the for the propeller and the forces which are which are also of course important for such ta such such simulations and then the force course force coefficients you can see directly in the report together with, together with other other parameters as usual and again you can really play with play around the visualization so for example what you can visualize the streamlines at 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 the place you want. You can create again the slices to see the wake or the recirculation area or, or vorticities behind the behind the uh, behind the object behind the Spitfire. Or again, you can study the streamlines along along the wings. Okay so this is the spitfire and coincidentally when when we had finished this study so it just okay i maybe i have closed it okay okay but what i would like to see is mention that at that time we finished it the iron maiden ha has had a concert here in prague and and brought the real spitfire on the show so it was a nice coincidence that, that it was in the same time we have we had finished finished this case study okay so i think uh, i have i have shown everything i everything uh, i want I, I want it so so if you have any question directly so i think a lot of them we can answer directly here uh, within this seminar and the rest we will answer or discuss with you later on so i think it is time to go back to Lubosh. So Lubosh, are you ready? Uh, yes, I am. Thank you, Radek, for your remarkable presentation. And I will quickly finish my presentation. So other than I need to, yeah, I need to get back the, the presentation, okay. So I'm gonna finish uh, the the presentation. Before I do that, I would I would like to kindly ask you to ask your questions. So you you just feel free to ask your questions. To just take your chance. It's it's your time, and we are uh, ready to to answer. And 
and now I'm going to finish with my almost last slide, uh, which is how, how to get TCFD. So it's, it's very simple. There is a trial version, the demo version uh, available. Uh, anyone can try TCFD for one month. So for this reason, it's, it's very transparent. Uh, after, after you try it and like it, you can decide to, to take, take the action or not. So anybody can give it a try. Um, we have a free students program where uh, students uh, can can apply with their projects and use TCFD for their project for free. And also there is a paid version, of course, the main version. Um, the business model of TCFD is a little bit different from standard commercial codes. Uh, the, the paid version uh, of TCFD is perpetual. It's always perpetual. Uh, and our clients can keep TCFD forever and use it for unlimited number of users, jobs, or cores. And in fact, what's paid for is the first delivery and uh, the technical support updates and maintenance for a certain period of time. And we believe TCFD Pricing is very affordable. Uh, we decided to fight hard for the universities. So we have uh, really outstanding conditions for universities and private organizations pay a little bit more, but still we believe it's it's very affordable comparing to the value it brings, the unlimited, unlimited CFD simulations. And yeah, so feel free to, to contact us for the for the details of, of pricing, for example. Uh, okay, which brings me uh, to the Q&A. So uh, at this point, we would like you to ask questions and we will gladly answer uh, those we, we, we can answer. And, and yeah, so let's have a look what we have. Okay. Okay, I see a question from Samuel Lewis. I would like to know if TCFD could be used to simulate hypersonic flows over Mach 8 accurately. Uh, well, I, I have to say, I don't know. Uh, so Radek, what do you think? Would you, would you try to answer that? Well, well, I, I don't know as well because we 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 didn't or we haven't simulated such such a flow, so we have no, let's say we have no study, no comparison study, so we we cannot say the solution is accurate. So we can discuss it later. So you can contact us and we can we can do what we what we can do. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the, the same answer here. It's uh, we we don't we do not know. We didn't compute much much over uh, Mach. Okay, uh, uh, Samuel, Samuel, I can see uh, Samuel has a another question. Okay, what about flows between Mach uh, one uh, to four? Uh, yeah, I, I can say what I can say is is we we did a few transonic simulations uh, at turbine cascades. Uh, big axial cascades, and the the results were very good. Uh, at at Mach about let's say uh, 1.8, so that's that. There we have a comparison, and the results were uh, I would say very very good. Uh, and on the other hand, we didn't do much uh, much high speed uh, simulation, so so for sure it would be a, a challenge uh, and uh, a matter of discussion. Okay. Uh, yeah. So um, we are, we are waiting now for for another questions because I so far I I cannot see any other questions. Uh, okay. I can I can see one now from from uh, Giovanni Catano. Uh, uh, great presentation. Do you have uh, any plans for developing flow and sediment particles? Uh, e.g. sedimentation in rivers. 
uh, yeah, thank you for this. Uh, I have to say we, we have we, we definitely have a plan to to include, uh, uh, for example, uh, a free surface flow solver uh, to to TCFD, but it's it, it it hasn't been done yet. So it's 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 a plan. It's it's on definitely on our to do list, but it's it's it uh it's on the just on the list it's not it's not ready yet but what's what's uh, what's good news is that the the as as you know the the simulation core uh, of tcfd is an open form right and an open form there is a family of solvers uh, called interform and it's this volume of fluid method is quite good in open form and works quite well so we are I, I would say pretty close to free surface flow in DCFD, but it, it, it's going to take some time to 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 implement it. So it, I guess it needs a little some some patience before we until we until we make this. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shuai, hello Shuai, we. Have, yeah, in contact. Did you did you consider the cavitation model during the simulation? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I think Shua is asking uh, at the Shibhal propeller simulation whether we used uh, the cavitation model. Uh, we did. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe Radek. Yeah. Yes, we did. So I can I can go for the propeller. Blah, 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 blah. Where is my propeller case? Okay, and, and then we are go for physics. So there are basic. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, and thank you, thank you. <laughs> so now you can see. So I am at the correct place. So for the propeller case in the physics. There now there is option to enable cavitation rigs for the steady state simulation, which 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 uh, shows you some some what is the cavitation index indices such as cavitation number and cavitation cavitation risk basically. So it can show you where the cavitation should occur, and if you enable transient simulation. So there is a multi-phase cavitation yeah, based on this Schnell-Zauer cavitation model and this is a read, real two-phase cavitation. So it is already implemented and ready ready for simulation. So yeah for the for the water type and for the cavitation it is it is ready. Okay thanks. Um, there is a question from Ricardo Massey, uh, well, uh, hi, it's possible to simulate fluid structure inter interaction and the heat transfer from fluid to solid. Uh, I, I have to say, no, it's not, not, not yet. We, we have, it's, again, it's, it's on our to-do list. We are, we are going to, we, we are really following very carefully uh, uh, FSI options, and it's on our to-do list. And and in some of our future versions, for sure, we will we will add this option. Um, okay. So uh, Samuel, Samuel, uh, another question. Uh, how many turbulence models can one use uh, in TCFD? Or how many does it support? Uh, Radek, would you would you answer this, please? Yes, of course. So directly inside the graphic user interface, there are the basic turbulence model or the most used for for the turbine machinery, let's say, for which original DCD was designed. And then it is in here in the turbulence. And basically, for now, there are just KMGS, TK Epsilon, and two Spalat Spalat Almaras and Spalat Almaras DES like. Uh, Turbulence modeling, but anyway, you can implement using the scripting. We can enable any any turbulence model which OpenFoam provides. So, if I go for incompressible, let's say, uh, where is it? Yeah, this RAS. So basically, all all of these 
line, cubic line, lash, lash thinner, and other KKL omega. The same for the LES type of turbulence model. So yeah, there are there, there are many of them. LES. So here you have a list of LES like. So all of these can be enabled using the scripting. Okay, thanks. Uh, uh, another quick question: uh, Is there any limit on of computer processors number in TCFD Radek? There are no limitation. So there are no limitation to use. You can use as many cores as you have. So just go for the simulation and set the number you want. So if you have a cluster with 200 cores, you can run it on 200 cores without any restrictions. And as as Lubosch presented, the scalability is quite nice and quite high, so it, it is really powerful without any any additional costs. OK. Um, uh, another question from Rabin. Uh, can the solvers like Pimpled in Foam be incorporated in TCFD? Radek, would you Yeah, exactly. The, this modification of a pimple dim foam is, is implemented when you enable steady state plus, tran uh, plus transient mode. So it is basically the real real mesh motion, transient motion. So basically the solver is based on the pimple dim foam solver. So it is inside already. Okay. And can, can you, uh, ju just to stay on the safe side, can you can you show where, where to change the default I thought because we we have this is our almost implicit solver, right? Because it's uh, it's dim foam, it's dynamic mesh foam. So basically, it is hidden here. But if you really want to use directly that one, you can go for solver transient and here type pimple dim foam. But basically, the statistic plus transient is based on the pimple dim foam. So, but if you really need, simply you will fill it here in the advanced mode. So first enable advanced mode and then rewrite the name of the solver here. Okay, thanks. Uh, another question from uh, Vignesh. Uh, I work on gas flows through microchannels in which the gas is at a rare field condition. Can I use TCFD for this? Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, at least me. Radek, do you have any uh, any idea on this? I, I'm not sure what 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 is this rare, rare feed or rare field condition is. Maybe yes, maybe not. We can discuss it later on to make it clear what the what what condition do you do you describe. Okay. Yeah. So we would need to to make a little research around this. So so sorry for not to be not to be ready to answer this exactly. And I think I think this is it, right? Uh, uh, I can't see any more questions, so uh, I think it's uh, so we, we we have finished here. So so let's get back to to, to conclude. Uh, so um, I'll hand over the presentation back to me and. Yeah, I think it's time to conclude. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hi, it's it's us again. We are we are back to conclude. So, uh, uh, yeah, the 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 webinar is is over. We would like to thank you for your attention. We would like you to to stay tuned. So, so feel free to contact us in. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to get back to us and we will, we will gladly support you in your projects. It's our job and also a pleasure. Um, yeah, I think this is it. Uh, Radek, have you anything to, to add? Just let me say thank you for watching us. And if you have any question, any problem or any, any subject to discuss, do not hesitate to contact us. We are gladly contact you. We can have a call, have a web meeting.
so we are here for you so do not hesitate to contact us and have a nice rest of rest of the day so bye bye okay so we leave you with that and thank you and bye bye